This research looks at pterosaur flight, specifically takeoff. Uh, so takeoff is something that is very important to a flying animal, and it's something we know very little about for pterosaurs, and that this study hopes to help start sorting out. Uh, so currently, pterosaur flight was a system, well, pterosaur takeoff is a system that has been proposed in three different ways. There is the pterosaurs are just birds angle, the, a short crouch, and then pushing forward and up with the hind legs only. Um, but was challenged in a few different places, but in the literature in 2008 by Mike Habib and his colleagues, where essentially he proposed a more bat-like system. So that is using your forelimbs as the primary driver. So this is used by vampire bats and the New Zealand short-tailed and long-tail bat monograph. So the big descriptive paper of Tetsacotylus. There was another proposal of a burst-like bird launch for a pterosaur. Yeah, we essentially found that these pterosaurs do generate more leverage with the forearms than they do with the hind limbs, which is interesting because taking off with the hind limbs works great for birds. In this study, we looked at the moment arms, which is essentially how much leverage your muscles are generating across your joints throughout your motion, which in turn leads to the power actually available to cause you to jump. Uh, so we ended up using a musculoskeletal model, which we created, which is essentially a 3D computer model of the skeleton with uh, simulated muscles, which are done as lines of action. So essentially a straight line from the start of the muscle to where it, it ends. So where it attaches to one bone, to where it attaches to the other. And you then add some uh, kinks in it to let it curve around different parts of the body so they don't all clip into each other. We used that to test the moment arms. So for our skeletal model, we used a, primarily a specimen SMNK1133, a beautiful 3D preserved specimen from originally Brazil. It has been CT scanned, so that allows us to create really accurate 3D models. So we used a combination using information from both what was preserved on the specimens. So that's uh, when your bone is attached to a muscle, you can have a sort of rough patch or you can have a like ridge formed on the bone. These little skeletal markers can tell you where these muscles were. We can combine that with information from things that are as closely related as we have in the modern day to our pterosaurs. So that is birds and crocodiles and you can look at homology between them so things that are the same and use that to create an estimation of where these muscles would go uh, using that we created this 3d model in the musculoskeletal system which allowed us to then test the leverage so with that model we then had to create motions to see how these different takeoffs would work so we based those on literature explanations of how these different takeoffs took place. So bipedal, we had both the burst takeoff and the counter motion or the more simplistic bird takeoff. So we needed to create motions for our skeletal model to enact. We did that by looking at birds and bat takeoffs and mapping them to our model. From there, we were able to run it through and measure the different changes in muscle length to get the moment arms, which will then tell us leverage, which can give you an idea of the sort of power involved. We then compared the different models to see if one had a greater amount of leverage generated, as this would potentially mean a more powerful jump. This is the first musculoskeletal model of a pterosaur that's ever been made. It is a... Um, system that's been used previously for dinosaurs for seeing how fast the T-Rex could run. So it was really exciting to actually apply this to other groups of animals, doing other very specific motions. Um, so we found that depending on what approach you take, the quadrupedal launch will have a greater leverage. Uh, the difference might be 
small depending if you only look at extension but in terms of the overall if you consider the muscle all the muscles the difference is staggering <laughs> um this is not exactly what we expected we expected there to be a chance of either or of both being applicable depending 